Welcome back everyone to another Stronghold Crusader 2v2. Today we are going to watch Marshall and the Emir take on Caliph and Sheriff. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this game. Uh, starting off right away, uh, looks to be getting up pretty quickly. Pretty powerful looking castle from Sheriff. We're going to see the Emir attack across this. Right here, and he's going to be running straight into this tower here, along with uh, Ballista here. We also know that Amir suffers from an early Ballista, as seen against Lionheart. Quick assassins off the back, but not enough, as uh, the Sheriff already has his pitch lined up. Um, you can see that Caliph and Sheriff are a little bit closer together seed-wise, versus the Amir really is going to have to carry the Marshal, depending on how he does. Uh, he can suffer quite a bit. He gets the weakest archers in the game and not exactly a lot of them. The nice part is he's going to have some nice knights harassed that should be helping out the Emir. Again, hopefully the Emir can uh, can carry here. I think he's definitely going to have to in this situation. Um, first attack here coming from Caliph. Going to be pulverizing this front tower here as well as the Emir also attacking, um, harassing this tower here for Sheriff. Able to keep that down, that is a bit devastating for him. Unfortunately, Sheriff does have a nice back tower here with the Ballista in it. All early attacks didn't really do much. This tower is about to drop. Um, we get some more harass here coming from Caliph in the form of slaves, as well as knights in circulation over here. I don't know exactly what they're doing. It looks like they're just kind of roaming and protecting. Caliph pushing forward a bunch of siege. And already going in for the second attack. Um, Amir also coming with the second attack. Looks like Sheriff's having a bit of trouble getting up. He's taking quite a bit. Quite, yeah, quite a bit of time here. Hasn't been able to do anything. Amir is in full swing already while Sheriff is still on the back foot. Speaking of that though, we have um, Marshall getting absolutely pulverized by Caliph's catapults and also Ballista's. I really hope that we can see um, the marshal hang on enough to for the emir to do some kind of damage here it looks like he's been able to hold down sheriff quite well throwing rocks into these very thick walls but sheriff hasn't been able to mount a very good defense something that i think that he's quite well known for here we go first attack coming in from sheriff that's a lot of assassins a lot more than i thought would be is able to definitely touch the Emir just a very little bit. What's really determining this fight though is this top. We are watching Caliph in his <laughs> full-fledged form here just throwing siege, throwing slaves. It's a non-stop harass and barrage against that top lane. Amir coming with another attack. Needs to shut someone down. Dangerous with the siege tower right here. If he gets enough swordsmen up in there, could be an early game for Sheriff. Something that we really haven't seen utilized is that Siege Tower. Um, quick shout out to Carter Smith, I believe it was. Uh, gave me a little tip and trick here about how to get the uh, the pitch, the oil mining for pitch working. So I've added that on both sides as well. We see that uh, Team Fire over here is using it as they both they both love their their fire. And here we go, heavy harass coming in from the knights, able to get. Only one stone thing, and also another heavy attack from the Emir, just absolutely battering down Sheriff. I don't think he's doing well. Same can be said, though, for A message from the, marshal. the Marshal. Yeah. And uh, I guess he just dropped. I didn't think that Caleb had that many swordsmen. From the but he is... He is in top. I think this is kind of exactly how we're going to see it against Wolf now. They are just going to 2v1, batter him down. I apologize that I missed that. That was uh, that was definitely my fault. I just didn't think Caleb already had that many swordsmen in. And usually um, Marshall has good swordsman defense of his own, but I guess not. Able to easily hold off this attack now, not really giving him... Too much trouble, I would say. Uh, really, he's kind of gotten in full swing now. 
and here comes the pressure that we're going to see from Caliph. That is a good deal of Arabian Swordsman. I, I should have noted that sooner and followed that a little bit closer. Yeah. The Emir is powerful, but I don't think he's going to be able to take this 2v1. Sheriff is, uh, or sorry, not Sheriff. Caliph is full swing over here. Um, you know, we really haven't talked about Caliph a lot, so let's let's do that for a little bit here. But I mean, he he has a good eco. He's getting money for the inn, and then his peasants are working faster with the the fear, which means that his soldiers. Uh, you can see there, he's got two little red squares on his sol soldiers, meaning that they're not as strong as probably the emirs. But when but when he's boosting his eco like that can afford to send in a little bit more and here he goes on a whole nother attack sheriff's also attacking at the exact same time this could be a devastating attack possibly changing the tide of this war i don't think that this is going to be the final attack caleb's starting to get a little bit of gold under him as well let's go ahead and shift this angle here see this tower is very hurt swordsmen are going up fire has started able to kind of let his inner keep here of the concentric castle design um, really do well defending against this this kind of outer wall that's just being brutally destroyed every single time but is able to recover um, is rated as the lowest lord i'm not surprised um, he's being harassed quite a bit he needs to put good defense here on his resources now that his partner went down these are more exposed than than um, what they would be if the marshal was alive. And with how much slaves we see Caliph sending in. And here we go, another attack from Caliph. Definitely the biggest surprise this game is Caliph. I didn't think he's gonna be this powerful. There he goes, fire started, um, has already claimed. Thank God that siege tower dropped. And here we go, <laughs> Sheriff following that up. And it's gonna be over, he's up, yeah. I tried to slow it down. Oh, that, what a wipe. <laughs> that was a very decisive fight there. Really entertaining. Wow. Caliph, yes, definitely I'd rate him as just the absolute best lord in this. Pushing the most go gold easily. Um, stunning performance by him. Uh, you know, I thought Sheriff was going to have to carry that hard. That is looking to be a pretty OP team. So now, without uh, further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the bracket. Alright, here we are in the bracket with everything updated. For a little recap, round one we had the Abbot and the Nazir um, with a hard victory over Wolf and Sultan. It took them quite a while to do that. Um, second time we had this, this previous game that we just got done with. I thought it was very decisive. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, with Sheriff and Caliph um, versus the Emir Marshal. And let's see who they fight next. Oh. So, so in this round two, it looks like they're going to be going against Lionheart and Pig. And I think Lionheart and Pig is also just going to be an extremely good team. Lionheart's early game, I think, is unmatched with how fast he can pressure. And Pig just needs just a little bit to get going. But once he gets those macemen thrown in, it can be quite devastating. So I'm, I'm really hoping that that's going to be a very good game. Um, the next the next match that we have to look forward to is Lionheart and Pig versus Saladin and Rat. Again, going to be a very interesting game. I'm, I'm interested to see how hard Saladin can carry. So yeah, just a little bracket update for everyone. And um, thank you all for tuning in and watching this 2v2. And I will see you next time. Bye.